All right, Johnny, we have uh, an interesting episode for you today. We're going to do some yo-yo tricks. I am here visiting a couple of my sons. That one does yo-yo stuff. We're going to do some yo-yo stuff. So, just hang on. Wesley is going to teach you some yo-yo tricks and some uh, mechanics about yo-yos because you are like the yo-yo dude, right? Yeah. Most people throw a yo-yo like this. That's wrong. Also, most people put the string way at the base of their finger like this. That's wrong. First, let, let me teach you the basics on how to actually tie the string. Got a string with a loop at the end. There's a loop. You fold the loop over the string like that, and then you just pull the string through the loop. You put that on your finger. You're gonna have a side that has one, one strand and a side that has two strands. So if it's on your right hand, the side with one strand is on the left side of your finger, and the side with two is on the right side. If it's on the left hand, you just reverse it so the one-sided strand is, on, is facing towards you. You've got the yo-yo like this. Now you do not throw like this. This is not throwing a yo-yo. Turn your hand upside down like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to throw it down like this. And it's going to come back up like this just like that. Or you can make it sleep like that. It makes a really cool sound. So you start throwing like this enough and you start catching it and eventually you, you get pretty bored. So now it's time to do the forward pass. Now if like someone's bugging you and they're standing in front of you, you can just and just say, hey, stop it. But that leads you into the next trick which is called looping which is what this yo-yo is especially for it's a looping yo-yo what that means is you can start to throw it in loops like this and you can just do this forever i can do this all day until your string gets so unwound that the yo-yo pops off the string or your string gets so frayed that the yo-yo just snaps through the string Ask me how I know. You're actually building life skills. Nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills. Yo-yo skills. Bow staff skills. Girls only want boyfriends who have great skills. I guess we move on to a different kind of yo-yo. <laughs> Unless Mr. Stepdad Wants to give it a shot. Wants to give it a shot. All now, right, do you remember how to put on your finger? Yes. Okay. The double yes. strands away from me, the single strands towards me. You got it. On the right hand. This guy's on point. Okay. I'm going to go right for the loop thing. Okay. I don't know what you're going to do. It didn't work. I guess it kind of worked. It came back to me. Ish. Oh, it didn't nice. Work. No, that's the... the effect uh, of yo-yo. So how do you keep it going and forever and ever and ever then? Practice. There you go. How do you get it to not flip on its side? Practice. Right. Practice. Right. Practice. Right. Practice. Is that your answer to everything? Yeah. Eventually, after doing this a lot, you're going to be unwinding the string. If it's right-handed. If you're on your left hand, you're going to be winding up the string. Usually what people will do is they will take it, the yo-yo off their hand like this kind of pull it all the way out and just let the string do its thing like that well you don't have to do that here's what you can do so this trick will allow you to wind up or unwind the yo-yo depending on which hand wind up if it's on your right unwind if it's on your left take the yo-yo sideways and you throw it to the side like this well you have to get it to sleep when you throw it to the side like that okay Throw it to the side like that, you put your finger on here like that, you pop it up and you catch it.
But what that's done is it's wound up the string again. So you can keep yo-yoing. If you're gonna get serious about yo-yoing, you're gonna get string. This is a bundle of 100 strings. The strings are always too long, so you have to like measure it to yourself. Here we have an unresponsive yo-yo, or like a string trick yo-yo, I'll show you that one. So this kind of yo-yo is for not uh, looping tricks. You can see the word unresponsive means it's not responding to me wanting it to come back. So what you need to do is do what's called a bind, where you put your finger in the middle of the string, wrap the string around, and then it comes back up like that. Let me turn sideways so you can see what's going on here. Throw a yo-yo, and then you put your finger on the string, wrap it around, you pinch the string, and you pull up on the throw hand. back up. There are many ways that you can bind a yo-yo. You do it all on one hand. This is called the plastic whip. So you put the string on your thumb like this. So it's connected right here. It goes over your thumb down to the yo-yo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the yo-yo up and then throw a loop down. Slow-mo, it's going to look like this. And then I'll have it like that. And then you just move your thumb down and it catches and it comes back up to your hand. Now, not slow-mo, it looks like this. Just like that. You can play that part in slow-mo if you want to. This is the iron whip. You already have the loop right here ready to go. What you're doing is you're popping the yo-yo up and you're throwing the loop around the yo-yo. Throw the yo-yo, grab the loop, just like that. You catch it just like that, and from there it's basically the same as the plastic whip. The only difference is how the loop gets onto the yo-yo. Just like that. The last one, which makes you look the coolest, is called the jade whip. Instead of like throwing the loop around like this, like that, instead we are going to throw the loop from behind that's the Jade Whip, and that's all just how to bind it. You haven't even learned any real tricks yet. I don't remember what this trick is called, but it looks kind of cool. There you go. Alright, what am okay. I trying to do? I'm just trying to So, it back. give it a good strong throw. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yep. So now, put the string, yep, loop it. Loop it underneath. Loop it underneath. Now pinch the loop. Pinch the loop and just pull up with his hand. Don't let go of the loop. You let go of the loop. Yeah, now pinch the loop. Don't let go of the loop. Pull up. Oh! <laughs> no, because there's friction. It didn't work. Nope. Hey, you got it that once. Well. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, don't, yep, yeah, pull up, pull up now, pull it up, pull up, pull up! There you go. There you go. Look, you're a pro now. All right, so what was that other one? Move, flip it all around and... Uh, no, no, you're not, you're not ready. Not ready for that? You're not ready. Thanks for playing. He's given him his what every boy needs to know about being a man speech. All right, now you've learned a few tricks that you can try on your own at home, but be careful. Or you might hurt your hand. <laughs> oh.
This is a yo-yo. That's the sideways move. Very popular among novices. I'm getting nervous because I'm on camera. Can I borrow these for a second? No! Ah! I didn't flip them off. <laughs> what are you laughing about? You want to try this? You want to try this? So this is that unresponsive yo-yo I was telling you about earlier. Did, did you just walk behind? Dude, we are filming here. And you're actually building life skills. Just be better. You tried that lately? We'll edit that out, right? Where I messed up. This guy's on point. Yo-yo skills. Bow staff skills. Hey. <laughs> Man, okay, you're, you're picking up quick, actually. Girls like guys with skills.